Uh, look at this Zinchenko do that. Oh! That might be the best left back in the game now. That might... Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me turn off the AC unit so I can get my point across. That might be the best left back in the game. Bro. Four star, five star? High medium? And boys... I gotta say, I'm a little bit of an Arsenal apologist. Those who have been in the channel will know. We predicted that they'll they'll easily get Champions League. I didn't predict that they're gonna win the Premier League in the summer. I wish I was that smart. But nevertheless, we've been praising Arteta and Arsenal's team for years now. I'm not gonna lie, man. That is moist. Bro, that is so moist. Four star, five star? Are you fisting me, dude? Okay, so what do you give him? Do you give him an anchor to jack off his strength? And then you get 99 acceleration and 90 sprint speed? Dude, what is this card, bro? Shot power, long shots, juiced. I mean, to be fair, Arsenal and Leeds have an amazing uh, partnership as well, right? We've got links between Ben White and links between Eddie and Ketia, and it looks like Arsenal might be trying to steal Rafinha away. If Rafi leaves Barca to come back to the Prem and he doesn't go to Leeds, there's two teams I wouldn't be upset about. Arsenal and Newcastle, if, if Rafi went there. I, genuinely, everyone else I'd be very upset. I kind of hope Rafi stays at Barca. I'm seeing more and more rumors that he's leaving Barca because Barca are in financial trouble. And it would be just like Barca to get rid of one of their best players. And like Rafi is the biggest Barca fan on earth. Man U, Man City wanted Rafi. Rafi said, no, I'm not leaving Leeds unless I go to Barca. And now Barca are willing to just shell him off, like just get rid of him again. Anyways, I don't want to talk about Leeds or Rafi. I just want to enjoy Zinchenko. Oh my God. And by the way, have you seen all these awesome videos about, of, about Zinchenko? Walking around with Arsenal, playing like um, Pana against kids on the street, like as he's walking through the areas. Is there someone that is more lovable? And by the way, one of the, I think, worst things that City did was let this guy go. How passionate this guy is. He seems to be an absolute leader in the, in the Arsenal setup. I want this card and I never knew I wanted this card. I hate myself. I have a Junior Firpo now, I have Cap Villa, and now I want Zinchenko. F! Why do, Lee, why do we have to do this to me, man? I want this card. I want him. All right, what, what other cards do we got? What other cards do we got? We, wait, what? Wait, did they screw up? Wait, what? There's two? Hold on a second. Oh, my days! Yo, EA are just absolutely knocking content out of the goddamn park. Wait, hold on a sec. Are these SBCs? What is happening? Wait, two versions of Zinchenko are in packs? They're both in packs? That is even cooler. Are they both in packs? So this is gonna make these two cards so rare? Think about it. Two impossible to pack versions of Zinchenko are in packs right now, and he's only in packs for four days or three days. Look at the, oh, look at the card. There's that Roman numeral up top. I guess marking two versions. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. I kind of like the, the I, oh my God, I kind of like both. Are they different stats as well or identical stats? Okay, so if you need more of the defensive, I don't know what I would want. Other version is going to be Team 2. They made a mistake. No, they didn't. There's no way. Why Why would they both be released right now? Like, in, in concepts. No, there's no way this is a mistake. What version would you want? My left back plays like a left mid, left wing. Right? So would I want a five-star weak foot or would I want skills? I'm not a crazy skiller. I mean, I like skilling, but I kind of do it when I think is the right time. Oh my god, dude. I don't know. It would be kind of vibe skilling with a. Uh... I mean, but then again, if I want skills, I can always get um, Junior Firpo in the team, right? Junior Firpo's five star skills. 
Oh my days. I don't know. This is this is too much content now. There's too many good players in the game now. I want all of them. There's a twin sign on the on the picture? Wait, does that Roman numeral mean twin like twins? I'm sorry to be just sitting on this, boys, but this is seriously awesome content. This feels like the first time ever they've been in packs as a duplicate setup like this. Usually you get them as SBCs and you have to pick and choose. I love this, dude. I love this for every... Ver every... Look, if you're an Arsenal fan, whatever version you get is just going to become more and more rare because basically, let's say you want the five-star version, the five-star weak foot version... He's going to be so rare already. And then once they're both out of packs, the card has been split by 50%, man. 50% of people that get really lucky are going to get his his his, his uh, five-star skiller version. 50% are going to get his, his weak foot version. This is amazing content. Seriously, this really is. I think EA are killing it with content right now, man. I think now that there are four or five other companies getting ready to release their own versions of FIFA, Goals, UFL, F FIFA themselves, Pez, and EA, I think we're starting to get better and better content. Like, EA genuinely have pulled their heads out of their asses. Which makes me even more excited for EA Soccer FC Football Soccer Team Ultimate Team on 24, coming in September. It might be the best version ever, because they finally have competition coming. Now, that is me going a little bit too far down the rabbit hole, but I truly believe this is like lit a fire under their ass. Now, I know gameplay and servers are still diabolical at times with FIFA 23, but you gotta admit they've done really well in a lot of other instances. Hackers are still a big problem in the game, so it's not like we can just excuse them for all the issues, but content-wise, I think they've done well. Anyways... Let's go look at Darwin and, and, and the other two. I, I, I feel like I would wish to pack his five, uh, Zinchenko's five-star weak-footed version. Let's check out Darwin. I liked using Darwin's uh, red inform card. What version was that? We packed red Darwin and used him for a week in playoffs and rivals and friendlies and whatnot. And he was sick. So I can only imagine... Oh, they've done the same thing. Oh my god. I think dependent on where you want to use him is the version you're going to want. The problem is, right, I don't think at six foot one and high, high work rates, you're going to get much fun out of a wide, like uh, playing him wide with five-star skills. I really don't. However, I think this Darwin, the five-star weak-footed Darwin at striker with an engine is going to be nuts. So personally, with how I play FIFA, I don't think I would enjoy using a 75 balanced, six foot one high, high work rate, four star weak footed Darwin out wide, but a five star weak footed striker Darwin with an engine would take him to 83 balance, 91 agility, 93 dribbling will be insane. So for me and how I play FIFA, Tiki Taka, Darwin at striker, whatever, I'd go for the striker version personally. Zinchenko, I still have no idea what version I would choose if, if I had the opportunity. Darwin, I hope any of you guys or me, myself, especially the dynamic too. He looks so just absolutely gorgeous. I, I think his dynamic with the, with the skill moves is kind of ass. But look at how beautiful he looks, bro. What a good looking dude, huh? Why are all footballers so handsome? It's really annoying. Anyways, like, give us a chance, man. You guys are all rich, you're all ballers, and you all good looking too. Like, can you chill? Anyways, what was the other one? So, Koke got another, uh, a double as well? He did. So, what do we... Would be kind of cool if they made one of them high-low work rates with five-star skills, and then the other version, um, the other version high-high work rates with five-star weak foot. Again, not that I'm complaining, but I do think that would have been very cool if they gave those as options. Just to spice it up a little bit with the with the two different style players. Either way, I don't know if I care about Koke too much. He doesn't make me that excited. I'm going to leave it at that. 